disappeared with the sands of time. For Smokey is that rare one-of-a-kind individual whose accomplishments bridge the racetrack, the shop, and the imagination. He is a racer, an inventor, a hell raiser, an entrepreneur, and an automotive genius. I give back about as much as I got, I hope. I hope I gave back a little bit more. And what other people think about me, I really don't give a damn. Smokey was born with a love of machines, backed by a willingness to learn and persevere. He's raced motorcycles. He was an accomplished pilot, but it is race cars that he will be remembered best for. It started with stock car racing on shoestring budgets in the Southeast, at events like the Daytona Beach Race. Beach Race was the uh, beginning of the Daytona 500. We won the last race they had down there. Had that race gone another 10 laps, it would have been impossible. We tore the cars finally got enough power that we tore the beach all to hell and some of the race cars were actually getting stuck. Money was always scarce in those days, which was a blessing in disguise. For necessity being the mother of invention, Smokey had to be his own mechanic and a very gifted one at that. He got $200 to build an engine and it took 200 hours. So figured out a dollar an hour. Wasn't the kind of a job that a guy's really looking for. But um, if I was doing it for money, I never would have done it. We was doing it for the hell of it, because I like to race. When he wasn't racing or chasing mischief, Smokey was thinking about ways to improve his race cars. Variable ratio power steering in everybody's automobile. I was the inventor on that. The ceramic coated, uh, uh, molly coated piston ring that, that everybody uses now. That started here. We work with the Pedrick Piston Ring Company, the elliptical bearings they use on mains and rods. Matter of fact, that carburetor everybody races today, the Holly, that uh, type that they use in racing was made right here. Many of these innovations can be found in today's race cars. Some, like the hot vapor engine that he began to design on in the late 50s and early 60s, is now getting long overdue recognition. The last two years that Honda won the World Championship in Formula One, they were using a version of the hot vapor engine. They heated the air and the fuel very deliberately, and which is what the hot vapor engine is all about. Which, but it's 180 degrees from standard engineering. It was this spirit of inventiveness that led Chevrolet to seek him out to race the NASCAR circuit in the early 60s. Bill France came here and asked, begged me at that time to um, make a deal with Chevrolet for one race. That's what Cole wanted, the Darlington 500. And this what would have it. We ended up winning the race. And that was the big break that NASCAR got. And then Ford said, well, hell, we're not going to let Chevrolet take this thing away. So then they jumped in and pretty soon Chrysler come and then NASCAR finally got a solid cement foundation and they went from there. It was also his big break. For now, Detroit was paying him major dollars to design and race prototypes. Well, it wasn't uncommon for a motor company to bring a prototype automobile and set it down and say, you do anything you want to it. Today, his shop is filled with those motors. Every one a piece of automotive history. The engine that Bobby Unser drove, that's a, uh, a Boss 429 Ford Hemi. That's a Hudson Hornet that won Darlington in 1954. That was a 1955 Chevrolet that uh, was won Darlington in 55, and that was the beginning of Chevy's uh, foray in the racing. Of all the experiences that Smokey's had, there is one that is particularly special. Indianapolis is the part I enjoyed most about racing. When I first started running Indianapolis, if I could afford it to get a car together and had to pull it up there with a rope and run for nothing, I'd have done it. I really enjoyed that. Indianapolis has not ignored his contribution. He has been inducted into their Hall of Fame, and they have one of his cars in their collection, the famous capsule car. Everything about that car, I made with my own hands. I like that. At times, Smokey's direct manner has led to uncomfortable situations, but he doesn't apologize. What you see is what you get. 
someone who believes in his abilities and has backed it up with a lifetime of achievements. I wanted to be so when I left, somebody say, was he a racer? All I wanted was say yes. Yeah.